Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we are going to learn how people maintain an overall health and wellness lifestyle. Are you excited? This should be fun. Hey there, welcome to the gym. I'm Travis, your personal trainer for the journey ahead. What's your name? Hi, Travis. I'm Jordan. It's great to meet you. I'm looking forward to getting started. Awesome, Jordan. So what's your main goal in joining the gym? What are you looking to achieve? I really want to get in better shape. Specifically, I'm aiming to lose some weight and build muscle. It's been a bit of a challenge for me on my own. Understood. Losing weight and building muscle are common goals, but they require dedication and the right approach. Have you tried any specific diets or workout routines before? I've tried a few things here and there, some at home workouts, a bit of jogging and cutting back on junk food, but it's been hard to stick with anything consistently. Consistency is key, Jordan. It's not just about the diet or the workout. It's about making sustainable lifestyle changes. How committed are you to making this happen? I'm really committed. I know it won't be easy, but I'm ready to do what it takes. I just need some guidance to keep me on track. That's what I'm here for. We'll start with a plan that's tailored to your goals and current fitness level. It's important to start at a pace that's challenging but not overwhelming. Makes sense. I don't want to jump into something too intense and burn out. Exactly. It's all about balance. We'll incorporate a mix of cardio to help with weight loss and strength training to build muscle. Plus, we'll adjust as you progress. Sounds good. How often should I be working out? We'll aim for a balanced routine starting with three to four times a week. It's also crucial to give your body time to rest and recover. I can do that. And what about food? I know my eating habits probably need some work too. You're right. Nutrition plays a big role. But let's take it one step at a time. For now, focus on staying hydrated and we'll gradually work on improving your diet. Okay, hydration I can manage. I'm ready to start this journey. Great. Remember, small, consistent steps will get you to your goals. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Thanks, Travis. I appreciate the support. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can achieve with the right guidance. Absolutely, Jordan. It's all about laying down a solid foundation and building from there. You've got the motivation, which is the first step. I do feel motivated, especially now talking about the plan and knowing I have support. That's fantastic to hear. Support makes a huge difference. Now let's talk a bit about setting some initial achievable goals. For starters, how about focusing on small weekly objectives? Like what kind of objectives? Simple things at first. Maybe cutting down on processed foods, increasing your water intake, and committing to the gym schedule will set up. How does that sound? That sounds doable. I like the idea of small goals. It doesn't seem too overwhelming. Exactly. It's about making changes that stick. Over time, these small adjustments lead to big results. Plus, celebrating these small victories keeps you motivated. I can see how that would work. I'm starting to feel more confident about this whole process already. Confidence is key, Jordan. Remember, it's normal to have ups and downs, but what matters is keeping your eyes on the long-term goal and not getting discouraged by the small setbacks. I'll definitely need to remind myself of that, but knowing I've got someone to guide me through helps a lot. And I'll be here to remind you, don't worry. Fitness is as much a mental challenge as it is physical. Together, we'll tackle both aspects. Thanks, Travis. I'm really glad I decided to do this. It feels like the first step to a whole new me. It is, Jordan. And it's a step you won't have to take alone. Let's get ready to put in the work and celebrate each success along the way. All right, let's shift gears a bit and talk about another key piece of the puzzle, nutrition. How we fuel our bodies is just as important as how we move them. I've heard that before, but I'm not really sure where to start. I mean, I try to eat healthy, but it's tough with my schedule. Understandable. But think of food as part of your training. You want good fuel for good performance. It's not about perfection. It's about making better choices, one meal at a time. Makes sense. So where do I start? Let's focus on whole foods, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains. These foods provide the nutrients your body needs to recover from workouts and build muscle. Okay, whole foods, got it. But what about when I'm craving something sweet? It's okay to indulge occasionally, but let's find healthier alternatives that satisfy those cravings. Like fruit or dark chocolate in moderation. It's all about balance. Balance, right? I can do that. 
Another simple change is cutting down on sugary drinks. Water, unsweetened tea, or sparkling water are great options. Staying hydrated is crucial, especially on workout days. I drink a lot of soda. Guess I could swap that out for water more often. Perfect. Small changes like that make a big difference over time. Now let's talk about sleep and stress. Both have a big impact on your health and fitness goals. My job's pretty stressful, and I know I don't get enough sleep. Always scrolling through my phone before bed. Stress and screen time before bed can definitely interfere with sleep quality. Let's work on a wind-down routine for you, maybe reading or meditation instead of screen time. I've never been much for meditation, but reading sounds doable. Great. A good night's sleep helps your body recover and keeps your metabolism healthy. It's just as important as your workouts. I'll give it a try. It would be nice to not feel tired all the time. Improving sleep and managing stress will not only help with your fitness goals, but your overall well-being. It's all connected. Nutrition, exercise, sleep, and stress management. This is a lot more comprehensive than I thought, but it's good to know how everything fits together. Absolutely, Jordan. Wellness is holistic and each part supports the others. With some adjustments and consistency, you'll see and feel the changes. Thanks, Travis. I'm starting to see how all these pieces are part of the bigger picture. I'm ready to make these changes. Exactly, Jordan. It's all about seeing the big picture. Your fitness journey isn't just about hitting the gym. It's about creating a balanced lifestyle that supports your goals. This is starting to feel really doable, Travis. Thanks for breaking it down like this. Of course, Jordan. It's all about taking it one step at a time. Now that we've covered nutrition and lifestyle, let's dive into the workout plan. Based on your goals, we'll blend cardio with strength training. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great. I'm not too familiar with strength training, though. We'll start with the basics and gradually increase intensity. The key is to build a solid foundation first. I'm all for that. What kind of cardio are we talking about? To start, we'll incorporate activities like brisk walking or cycling. As you progress, we can introduce more variety like swimming or interval training. Cycling sounds fun, and I've always wanted to get better at swimming. Perfect, we can definitely work those in. Now about setting a routine, consistency is crucial. We'll aim for workouts three to four times a week. How's your schedule? I can make mornings work. It'll be a change, but I'm committed. Morning workouts are a great way to start the day. We'll make sure your routine fits into your life seamlessly so it becomes a habit, not a chore. I like the sound of that. Making it a habit is definitely the goal. Absolutely. Now staying motivated can be tough, especially on days when you're not feeling it. Setting small, achievable milestones will help keep you focused. Makes sense. So what kind of milestones are we talking about? Things like completing all your workouts in a week, hitting a new personal best in your cardio, or even mastering a new strength exercise. Celebrating these wins will keep you motivated. I'm looking forward to all of that. This is the most motivated I've felt in a long time. You're on the right path, Jordan. Let's get started on transforming you into the best version of yourself. Did you enjoy the conversation today? Try using the conversation with your friends at the gym. We hope you learned on how to maintain an overall health and wellness lifestyle. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.